What's going on, fellow Olympians? It's Jacob here, back with Team Olympus, and a new video about Tenpai Dragons. Now, Tenpai Dragons has been ten, uh, tr tending, trending ever since uh, Legacy of Destruction. I think that's what it is, right? Could be the box. Anyway, um, now, with that being said, why are they so good and why are they trending? I believe, in my personal take on the reason why I built Tenpai Dragons is, one, it was supposed to be budget-friendly. I have another video on that one. Now, for the old folks like us, like back in 2015, me and Matt, they, those monarchs only cost like $100 for that meta deck. Yeah, I wish it still cost that much, but not no more. Um, now, <laughs> with that being said, um, that's for another video. That's when TCG and eBay, I'll be dead before, I'll be like 90 years old by the time I get cards from TCG. But anyway. That's just another for another rant. Um, but why are they good? Um, I would say they are a top two competitive deck with Snake Eye still being trending top one. I mean, I'm still first place in it because it's still topping and winning YCSs and other major uh, like qualifying matches for Worlds and stuff like that. I want to say it's because they could do a lot of damage. If they, if you, okay, so if you're running Snake Eyes, right, and you get nibbed and you can't really do nothing after getting nibbed, after spamming your board, and they go a second turn and you don't have much of anything in your hand and you're playing a Tenpai Dragon, you're done. Tenpai is going to spam the field and going to hit you for around 35 and a half thousand damage. Now with Pot of Prosperity, it, it hits right through it so you're still going to take almost sixteen thousand damage in the battle step which is it, it everything that everything it does it, it's not like it snake eyes you know snake eyes sets the board they hit all five and you're dead and tired you're just like oh man just finished me already go to sleep wake up get back in the car drive back to the, the card shop the guy's still doing his moves Tenpai Dragon just says, I'm going to spam the field in the damage, damage step, and I'm going to punch you till you die. That's pretty much what it is. You just get slapped like no other, right? So that is that is one of my, my takes on why it's trending. The whole budget-friendly deck, yes, the engine is budget-friendly to play a meta deck at, with under, like, I think uh, Padra dropped to 1650 on... TCG, so it's not like twenty dollars a playset no more. So with that being said, those cards are dropping. So the fact that you can pick up and play competitive deck at a a high rate, which is very good because if you think about it, uh, Konami wanted to make Yu Gi Oh an esport, even though they're not giving out cash prizes. That's I have no idea about that one. How you make an esport on that? But with that being said, you can potentially go to Worlds and qualify and win Worlds from Tenpai Dragons because it is budget friendly. It's just that the engine's budget friendly, but just not the rest of the cards that you're gonna need to make it um get you there. You know what I mean? So now I wanna say it's very unique. It uses uh Trident Dragon, which is a 10 year old card. The fact that you're able to pull that bad boy out and smack somebody for six thousand uh, up to two to three times is insane as well. I did pick me up one. I did like eBay snag one. Um, and I sniped a good Raging Phoenix when it decides to come back. I come back when eBay decides to deliver my Raging Phoenix. I will be giving you guys my my official like my, my official deck build of the Tenpai Dragon. And I will be taking it to my locals hopefully on Sunday. Um, I'm going to, I have the tripod, I got everything ready to record. So we're going to have some live duels. So yeah, that is like my per take on why Tempai Dragons is trending. The fact that it can get over a lot of, uh, a lot of cards. The only bad thing about Tempai Dragons is there's not enough search in the, the, there's not enough search. So you have to play three pot, pot of prosperity, three pot of extravagance. You have to play those, ah, one or the other. You have to play them to try to get as much as you can get um, for draw power. You know what I mean? Now, I know everybody's like, but what about the floodgates? Floodgates. Yeah. Tenpai Dragons could play over D-Barrier. That's kind of crazy. If you D-Barrier any other deck, they kind of struggle and it shuts them down for the whole turn. But 
you go back to Tempi, Tempi, you can go literally take the link route and link route straight and have Zelantis, um Raging Phoenix, and I think it's like Prometheus or whatever her name is. The Fire Gloomy. Not Fire Gloomy. I forget her whole name. I got it. The deck box is right in front of me. But with that being said, you know, you're able to still hit over 8K being D-barrier. Not a lot of decks can do that. So it's very, it's, me and Matt got in that conversation where we were laughing and, you know, not really laughing. We got in the thing about, you know, playing chess. It's not chess when you run 15 hand traps because you have to run 15 hand traps. Yada, 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 yada. Um, but unfortunately, that's this is the season that we have to play. But the fact that this engine lets you play as much hand traps as you want is insane. But in on this reality, though, if you can even play three upstart upstart goblins to get your draw power as well because if they don't have d barrier down and you're not going to get d buried you could still smack them for over the amount that you need to you know what i mean so like they got eight thousand you're gonna give them eleven thousand you hit pot of prosperity you get three card or you draw your card hit pot of um do up three up start up start goblins you get another three um you get your th- you know three cards boom they're now at eleven thousand then you do your you know your uh synchro summoning into the damage step if you can get that far boom 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 pull out trident dragon and you're going to be smacking them you pop your field spell he's hitting six thousand that card itself can hit for twelve thousand just from the rip so but with product prosperity you're hitting for six but then again you have everything else that's continually fluctuate throughout that graveyard that can smack over pot of prosperity so in reality you could still do over uh you could still do fifteen thousand damage so Hey, you, you there's just a lot of things like if maxi was alive man that would be crazy maxi being unbanned in tcg with tempi dragons especially in the damage step would be crazy but that's why you know with odd eyes meteor burst shuts down a lot of stuff that can happen during the damage step so that's what makes it a little bit more better to run the odd eyes package for was well, just odd eyes meteor burst that's that's why you would run odd eyes meteor burst is for that so i'm not giving you too too much of what what i'm going to be running and what showcasing you guys what i'm gonna, what i'm running for my extra deck and um take it in there but that's kind of like my my uh understanding on why tempai dragons is trending the why it's able to do a lot more. It's able to smack a lot of people. It's able to do tons and tons of damage. I just think that with Worlds qualifying coming up, um, like right around the corner, we still have YCS Anaheim, which everybody knows that we're going to. Um, but it's one of those things to where we're going to see. And then also the whole you know, politics behind the solid color match. You have to use their match, their sleeves, or this or that. Ah, I, well, that's for another video with with Matt that I have to talk to him about because I got some ideas on why they're saying that and why they're making it that big of a deal. But I hope you guys like the video. Also, a little sneak peek. If you guys have YGO Pro, um, I do want to start hosting some tournaments. They will be unofficial tournaments because we are not licensed with Konami or anything. But just to have some fun tournaments to see what you guys bring to the table, get some duels. If you guys... Um, uh do duel we'll put a link in the for a discord below uh the discord set up so you know when you guys are playing we can record your duels and we'll commentate over it and have a good time and you know just enjoy the game on why go pro so it, i understand a lot of people play master duel if you guys want to do master duel we can do master duel if you want to do why go pro we can do why go pro really up to you guys what you guys want to do for the viewers if that's something you guys want to do, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and let us know so we can set that up, and I will be hosting it. I don't think there's going to be no entry, no cards, or anything else, so it's just going to be like a friendly uh, tournament to see how many people we get in the first couple times, and then after that, we'll probably do like for a box of box of leg- Legacy of Destruction um, because the 25th anniversary collector set sucked, and I'm pretty sure the 2024 Mega Tens are going to be even worse. So the only thing that's actually good right now is Legacy of Destruction Box. So with that being said, thank you guys all for watching. Fellow Olympians, my name is Jacob. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.